Okay, this is a quick tutorial on how to get into the editor and get started. First thing you want to notice is that I'm at the main menu. I launched it using the Steam beta, so I just hit play on Arma 2 Operation Arrowhead beta. And then I went to my expansions and I enabled Daisy Epoch 1.0.1.1. That's the only th other expansion except for the ones that are normally on. I don't have anything else enabled. I clicked OK and then I clicked OK and it restarted. And then you're now back where I am. On this, you're going to want to hold Alt and press E. Brings up this menu. You want to choose Chinaris. If you want to uh, edit a different one, you can go ahead and do that and then you hit continue and it'll load up. Okay, now we're on the map. You can just pick wherever you want to set up your building um, and then double right click and you can go to default camera. This will bring you to the edit in 3D world mode. As you can see, I can travel around you can go back to the edit this is the overview map and you can simply click on the edit in 3d okay to get started you need to first place a center that's this one right here f10 click on it then double click on the map i just go with blue 4 click ok then you click on group which is f2 double click on the map press ok and then you place a unit. It doesn't matter what you place for your unit. You might want to place something that looks cooler. You might want to place something that has weapons you want to play with or whatever. So that's up to you. Once your player is in the editor, you can hit preview and see what's going on in the game itself. Click escape and then you can go to edit in 3D, 2D, or restart. Restart starts at the beginning where it was the state it started at. Okay, in order to place a building or vehicle, you click on vehicle, which is F5. Double click on the map. You can place air vehicles, armored vehicles. You can place cars, CSJ air, that's the uh, little helicopter, and gyros then you can go down there's support which is right here you've got more vehicles and then you've got warfare which is these vehicles here as for the buildings themselves they're all in the different sections here uh, it's gonna take some exploring I still have no idea where half of these things are. Um, simple walls, the Hasco barriers that we see most often are at the bottom of warfare buildings. The long tall is that one. If you want to rotate your object, hold shift, click on your object, and then move your mouse to the right or left. If you want to raise it up or down, you hold Alt, click on the object, and bring it up and down. For the most part, things will snap to the world, but sometimes you need to move them up and down. Okay, if you want to copy an object, I click on it, hold Control, and click C, and then put your mouse where you want the object to be pasted, hold Control, and press V. Notice how it's stuck to the ground at ground level. To delete an object, simply hit, put your mouse over and click delete. When you are done and or in the process, I recommend you save repeatedly, like every couple of minutes. Just click on save, name it, and then click OK. To load, click on the load button select which one you want to load and click OK.
and there you go that's the basics if you have any questions uh, feel free if you have any tricks and tips that you've learned go ahead and uh, fill me in on those because I am still a noob at this alright bye bye